everybody and welcome back to another video. I hope you're good, I hope you're safe. You know how I feel about you all, so I hope you're good. Today we are finally, finally going to address skincare and my skincare routine, which is why I've currently got a naked face. I hope you all appreciate my new intro, my new channel art, I'm really trying to step up my game. Let's get into the video. As many of you may know or may not know, I am actually a nurse. I work in A&E, which means that for the whole duration of the shift that I am wearing some form of PPE. So throughout the 12 and a half hour shift, I am wearing a mask apart from my break. PPE, oh my goodness, it has broken my skin. If you've worn a mask for even five minutes, you'll know how hot it gets. Like it's really uncomfortable. Like if you've worn it for five minutes, you can only imagine what it's like wearing it for 12 and a half hours. So yeah. It's a struggle. I am not alone in this struggle. And if you are a nurse or a doctor, you will know and you will know what I mean. So please comment down below because I'm certain you're absolutely smashing life as you always do. I'm gonna to talk to you about what the mask is actually doing to your skin. Now I've done a lot of research. I also follow Bambi Does Beauty on Instagram, which my sister got me into because my sister is like a skincare expert, I swear. Yeah, I'll link Bambi Does Beauty down below because that's the one that Sean told me to actually go and watch. And she broke it down for me the other day in her story and she also has a highlight on her Instagram, which will tell you similar to the stuff to what I'm gonna tell you now, but in more detail because she is an expert. Ooh, before we get into it, just have a sip of my tea. I've really, really got into peppermint tea. I don't know if I'm just like the last on board. Cheers. The issue with wearing masks is that it actually causes a lot of heat and friction underneath your mask, especially the full PPE mask, because boy, the minute I put that on, I feel like I'm literally gonna pass out and it's so dramatic. I'm like, it's so bad. Because of the rubbing and the friction, it's actually stripping your skin of moisture. There's this thing called maskne, which I learned about a few weeks ago, and then Bambi Does Beauty actually talks about it. So I thought I'd do a little research of what the phrase maskne refers to. Maskne refers to the breakout from masks, and the definition is acne formed in areas due to friction, pressure, stretching, rubbing, or occlusion, which is everything that the mask does to your skin. Now, a lot of you are probably going to be new to wearing masks, especially as it's compulsory now with public transport, a lot of you are gonna be having to wear masks. So it's just something to bear in mind. The main thing with skincare when it comes to masks is simplifying it. Essentially, you can do too much. And I learned this quite a long time ago because I had a very overcomplicated skincare regime. So really, really take it back to basics and simplify it. When I set, can you hear my stomach? I'm trying to do that intermittent fasting, so if you hear me rumble, that is why. She's going in. She's really talking. Rather than taking moisture away and going in with acids, peels, things that harden your skin, you really need to add the moisture back in. So, we've got my Huns over here. This is my little basket of glory. My little... Honestly, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I absolutely love doing skincare. And now I've got my routine kind of nailed. Well, semi-nailed. We're not quite there yet. I feel so much better about it. I think it's just really therapeutic. I don't know if I'm the only one. So yeah, we're going to start with the morning. Then the first thing I do for my skin in the morning is wash it. And I only wash it with water. That is obviously what works for me. And disclosure, these things are working for me, but they may not work for you. Obviously, it depends on your skin type, etc. But if you've got dry to combination skin, you've got some dry patches, you've got some redness, you've got some irritation, then this skincare regime might be for you. I just want to show you quickly, this is what problem area that I'm talking about um I have got a lot of red spots and red itchiness here and I've been having rashes around my mouth as well I just start off by washing my face with just water warm water cold water whatever's gonna work for you then I go in with the serum and so guys this is probably my favorite product after trying it for probably about a month and a half now. This is my favorite product and this is the Hydrance Intense Avene Serum and it is amazing. This 
brand is known for being simple and caring to your skin and kind to your skin and this is exactly what it is can you see how much i've used use this twice a day now you should always use serum in conjunction with moisturizer because the serum is acting as a barrier cream and this is going to protect you from any of that irritation and really lock in the moisture then after that i will always go in with an spf now spf is so important i cannot stress to you whether you're in the sun whether you're not it doesn't matter about the weather it is so 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 important i cannot stress to you enough any kind of uva uvb rays are going to break down the collagen in your skin so you're going to age quicker and who wants to age quicker not me so honestly guys please invest in an spf doesn't have to be expensive but get an spf in your life the one that i absolutely adore is the l'oreal uv perfect and it's the super aqua one so it's water resistant oh here's my parcel can you hear that So I'm actually just buzzing because I've ordered some more skincare from The Ordinary because I've heard such good things and she has just arrived. So yes, expect another video on that one. See you. Then a part of my everyday routine this is the La Roche Posay Ultra 8 um, spray. And this spray, honestly, my only negative to it is the way it sprays that sounds really weird like a really weird negative to have but i think it makes such a difference when you've got a spray that just like you need one that goes like <laughs> so this one is my um rimmel instafix and it literally covers your whole face in like a mist whereas this one you'll see it's just straight it just goes straight and that is my only criticism of this product it's expensive so you'd think that they'd invest on a good spray because you really want to cover your whole face when you get the spray you don't want to just cover this part or this part what's the point what is the point this spray has actually been so so amazing and i tend to use it when my skin has been really irritated and itchy, I spray this over moisturiser, under moisturiser, before serum. I spray it any time of the day that my skin is feeling like it needs a little bit of a drink or a little bit of nourishment. And this has been amazing. When I have really, really itchy spells from the masks, this has literally saved my skin. So if you've got a buildup of redness or irritation, then please invest in your, this product. Um, my evening, the key thing, which I only learned recently, and I don't know how I didn't know it sooner, the key thing is to double cleanse. Now, when it comes to cleansers, I've done a lot of research about foam cleansers being negative for your skin. This is it actually strips your skin and takes away your skin's moisture. It actually cause dryness and irritation, which is not what you want, especially if you're working with masks, PPE, anything like that. The last thing you want is to take away the moisture that you need to put back in. So I would say try your best to avoid foam cleansers. I've actually found that this cleanser has changed my life. Now I literally, apart from the spray situation with the last one, I haven't got many negatives to say about this routine because I stuck to it and it's really, really working for me. So the good thing about this is that it's a gel cleanser. It's super lightweight, it's really nourishing, really clean, creamy. It comes out as a clear consistency as you can see and it's like a really nice cooling gel. Can you see that? It is super lightweight and look how far that goes. Can you see? So the thing that I was saying with double cleansing, double cleansing is so important and I've only just learned this, it's really really important because the first cleanse you're removing makeup, dirt, any build up of dry skin, with your second cleanse, so you cleanse, remove your makeup and then go in again and do the same motion with the same cleanser, with a different cleanser, it's obviously up to you. You're actually addressing with the second cleanse the skin concern. So obviously in my case, I want to hydrate my skin and this is actually for hy a hydrating cleanser. So obviously whatever your cleanser is made for and whatever your cleanser you want it to achieve, the second cleanse will achieve that. The first cleanse will just remove the dirt. It's super important to double cleanse, guys, honestly. If you're looking for like a no bullshit skincare regime, then CeraVe has absolutely, on 
it's just completely changed my life. It's so calming and it's so cooling. It doesn't smell of anything and I'm a sucker for a smell, but I'm really trying to stick to fragrance free products. I always use this in the night and like I said, I double cleanse. Then when after that, I will use my serum, as I said, it's amazing. Thank you, hon. I will go in with the moisturizer. Now, um, I, I don't know if it's everywhere, but I got these from Look Fantastic and I got them the two together. So I don't know if other places do that, but it's a really, really good deal. Obviously, I think I'm going to go in and get the bigger one next time because I've tried it and I really like it. But this is such a big product. Like this, like I've barely even scratched the surface with this one. So it's super thick. This is a moisturizing cream, as I said earlier. It's super, super thick. However, it's creamy and actually on the skin, it doesn't feel too heavy, although thick in its consistency. Can you see how thick that is? It really, really nourishes your skin. Like I can't, I cannot even express how good this moisturizer is for your skin. Like it, you just get the glowy finish, soft finish. It's just so, so, so kind to your skin. I wouldn't, I'd say you don't need much. For the times that my skin is also really irritated, itchy, and I'm breaking out, I also tend to use my aloe vera. I've gone on out about aloe vera before, um, and I literally just put it usually in this area, which is always where I'm breaking out at the moment, and I literally just smother it on and let it. <laughs> So God, why do I do? Why do I do that noise? My own thing is, it's antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. So when you're getting that irritation, when you're getting the burning sensation, when you have been burnt in the sun or you've got in a, getting a breakout, then this is going to be cooling and anti-inflammatory and really reduce that redness. And these two together are like a dream team. This one's, like I said before, it's just a Holland and Barrett one. It's 99.9% .9 aloe vera. And I trust Holland and Barrett to not put all of the extra stuff in to wrap up my skincare chat i'm gonna recommend some face masks for you now i'm an absolute sucker for a sheet mask like i really actually you look ridiculous don't you like you actually look ridiculous when you've got it on but it is honestly amazing like i love sheet masks so my first one i'm gonna recommend is moisture balm this is by Garnier. So especially when you've had like a long shift or you've been, or you've had a day where your skin is taking a battering, this one is for you. This is probably my favourite sheet mask ever. I haven't opened it yet because I've only got one. Another one I got is, this is from a, as a birthday present. Callum got me two packs of these and this is probably... I'm gonna say it's slightly taken over this one. This is like my classic kind of holy grail sheet mask, but this, I don't know what, I. it literally feels like you're in a spa. I don't know why I'm starting so much. I think I'm overwhelmed. It is so, so creamy and you just rub that in and it actually just changes everything. Like, and as well, even when the mask's gone, like there's still some cream left in here. So I just use it as a moisturiser whenever, or like a cream mask, whenever I'm feeling sad about my skin and my life. It is amazing. This is the Champneys. Champneys Revitalising Face Mask. So there you have it. That wraps up my skincare regime. And I really, really hope that's been helpful to even just one of you that would be my absolute goal as i said i've just received a package from the ordinary so i will actually be trying that and reviewing that on my channel with you guys remember to subscribe and turn your notification bell on love you all so much and thank you for the support take care and goodbye for me